एस यानी सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल चौपाल राष्ट्र को विकास की धारा में ले जाने के लिए राष्ट्र स्तर का जन आंदोलन है ये चौपाल 2030 में दुनिया के विकास में भारत को पहला नंबर मिले इसके लिए शुरू किया गया है 13 और 14 जून को पहला वर्चुअल एस चौपाल का आयोजन किया गया इस कार्यक्रम में विभिन्न क्षेत्रों से जुड़े जानकारों ने इसमें हिस्सा लिया और विभिन्न मुद्दों पर अपनी राय रखी इस कार्यक्रम की शुरुआत एस चौपाल चेयरमैन प्रोफेसर श्री दीपक द्विवेदी जी ने की आई एम वेरी हैपी to address the young leaders at the first virtual sdg you chop off we are just the trustees or managers of this wealth mahatma gandhi to advocate this leadership philosophy the united nations sustainable development goals put us on the path of equality equity and climate justice while we are doing everything that is required of us we expect that others also join in to fulfill their commitments based on common but differentiated responsibility and equity friends we are here today to act upon the belief that as human we can make a difference to this planet we need to understand that this planet our mother earth is one and so we should rise above our trivial differences of race religion and power and act as one to save us friends with our deep rooted philosophy of coexistence with nature and coexistence with each other we invite you to join us in the journey of making this planet a more safe and sustainable place the mission of the nagrik foundation drives from the name which is working on citizens well being and the sdg chopal a 10 year long people's movement focused on localizing the sdgs with a mission to empower engage and enable the children youth both urban and rural and women who are the building blocks of the progress pathways going forward for nations i wish to thank all of our partners supporters in solidarity who stand besides this national transformational and a collective initiative which is possibly is the largest movement over the mobilized citizens participation and action towards making india the first country to achieve the ambitious mandate of sdg 2030 the sdg chopal will engage in for empower all stakeholders at the village and district level 
formally supported by the principles and vision of sabka saath sabka vikas that means leave no one behind my special gratitude to twin habitat nairobi action aid ab education tail of human kind chandigarh university desh bhagat university and personal thanks to mr douglas ragan un habitat nairobi miss mary un habitat mr gaurav bhatara ab education shri satnam singh sandhu chancellor chandigarh university dr shalini gupta vc desh bhagat university dr pb sharma vc amit university mr anil swarup former secretary government of india vivek atre former bureaucrat ms ronvin joyci federation university australia our own own egg brigade sdg ambassadors speakers who made this all possible i wish the sdg u chopal a great success sankalp se siddhi to make aatmanirbhar bharat thank you jai hind i am grateful for this opportunity to interact with the wonderful super enthusiastic youth who are a part of uh, today's and tomorrow's summit and our esteemed panelists and the speakers who uh, just spoke uh, uh, one of the most some of the most relevant uh, topics which are important in today's time so uh, in order to begin with the uh, fire chat discussion and also to uh, speak uh, also about sdgs and what my organization does i would like to share a short presentation which will go in three parts so first we'll have some discussion on sdgs and the future we want then moving over to the work which my organization do and how is it related and third because i was told that there are a lot of super enthusiastic youth delegates uh, who are a part of the youth summit uh, i have a lot of opportunities some engaging opportunities for the youth to collaborate and work with us uh it is really important that we know that we can integrate the stgs into all the curriculum areas but i think before we start looking at uh even teaching the stgs we need to start at the start which is globalizing classrooms and the importance of bringing the world into the classrooms uh that we have from a very young age there is a lot of content out there now on the internet and the the web and i think we really need to be uh taking steps to educate our students around the major issues that are happening around the world so uh these are my my key passionate areas i've currently uh in the last 6 months been lecturing at uh federation university australia on uh digital technology in the classroom and the links that it can make to connecting classrooms and i also have been uh linking uh globalization to the pedagogy of teaching so uh creating effective teachers and how we can be effective leaders within our schools as we uh support the globalization of of education so uh thank you again uh for having me i am very passionate about these discussions uh and any time i have the opportunity to share my voice and uh talk about uh the need for this in our classrooms around the world not just in uh primary school 
but in classrooms from three years of age right through to our university level, higher the higher educational. I'm absolutely honoured to, to be here and to, to speak to, to you all. First, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to thank uh, Deepak ji, uh, who is uh, the uh, you know, convener of STG Chopal for his uh, brilliant efforts today. Uh, I know that, uh, that he is very passionate about sustainable development goals and, and the reason why I'm here is, is also because of his undying commitment to the cause. Uh, I know that uh, I know that uh, that the journey that he has started is going to cause a change, not only within India, but uh, but in all the uh, Commonwealth countries and thereafter on the other 192 countries. I wanted to thank all the other stakeholders, um, United Nations Habitat, uh, Joyce, all the youth delegates. Um, all the other uh, attendees, it's, it's so wonderful to see all of you here today. So before I start, um, I just uh, share one or two things that I picked up. I was here for about 10 minutes before uh, now. And uh, like Joyce said, that uh, it is up to us. That is very important, that it is up to us. And I take it one step further and I say, it, it is up to you the power of one. The change has to begin from within. Only once the change begins from within can it manifest without, that is outside, in the form that we want it to manifest through the policies and the programs of the SDG implementation which are being meted out by various governments across the world. But one thing which is common is that it has to start from within. Because if the change is, does not happen from within, whatever effects that will happen out of these policies, which will, will be temporary, they will not be long lasting. And that will defeat the very purpose of it. Then I also, uh, I also uh, was listening to Seher, uh, and she said that it's very important to change the mindset. And I agree with her completely that it is very important to change the mindset. You see, the UN, the UN preamble uh, says that the wars begin in the minds of men, and that is where peace must begin too. So it has to begin within our minds. And as in the Nichiren Buddhism, it is said that there are no two lands, pure and impure. The difference lies solely within our mind. The same land which is impure can become a pure land just by changing the way you look at things around you. And then of course, uh, Aniket, who said that he's renamed his uh, initiative from mankind to uh, humankind. Uh, so Aniket, you've done a wise thing. Women power is very strong all around. So it's good that you change it in time. Um, I'll go one step further. That every living being values its life. So instead of humankind, one can also include all the other being sentient and insentient. Because we realize now in the last two months after COVID, that how delicately and how intricately and how strongly all the living beings are connected to each other. A virus which came out of a non-human being, so a bat, supposedly, has impacted all the living beings across the world. So therefore, it's important to always keep in mind that human beings are only one aspect of this planet, and we have a lot more occupants, as we may call it, who deserve equal right. So coming to why we are here today is, is about sustainable development goal. For sustainable development goal, it's first very important to understand the spirit behind the sustainable development goal. So I, I basically identified three things, uh, you know, as the spirit behind this uh, sustainable development goals by United Nations. One is, of course, youth. One is, of course, youth. Second is universality. 
That means leaving no one behind. Universality. And third, very important, is the power of one. That means if we all keep shirking our responsibilities and keep passing them from here and there, it is never going to happen. So we have to take the responsibility ourselves. We have to take the responsibility ourselves. So, you know, um, in India, uh, there is an ancient scripture called the Mahapuran. And in the Mahapuran, there is a shloka, there is a mantra for, for those who are not from India. It, mantra is a, a compilation of sentences. And there's a mantra which says, and this is, mind you, about five, six thousand years back. So there's this mantra which says that I am Nija. I am Nija Parovati Ganana Laju Chetanam Udar Charitranam Tu Vesudeva Kutumbam. Which means that this is mine and that is yours, is the thinking of narrow minded people. For the magnanimous hearted, the whole world is but one family. So if you will understand, so this was what the, the Indian civilization subscribed to about five to 7,000 years back. And now, after the last two months episode, we are again going back to the same, that the world is but one family. You see, for the United Nations to come up in 2015, it was when when every, all the stakeholders met and they decided to, to set up guidelines uh, in which you know, countries can go further. So the purpose of that was to have a healthy and a prosperous planet. This was the purpose uh, of, of uh, the declaration of 2030, healthy and prosperous planet. Therefore, the universality is very important in this, the spirit of universality. That means universal. You see, if you see in nature, when the rain falls, the rain falls equally on all people, all living beings, plants, animals, human beings. The rain does not discriminate that you're a human being, so I'll fall on you more or that you're, uh, you're, the, you're an animal and follow you less, the rain falls equally. If you will see that life, each living being, whether an animal, whether a human being, holds dear its life to the same value. You can't say that just because you're a human being that, or you are somebody from a particular country that you hold your life more valuable and somebody from another country has got lesser value. Each life is sacred and sanctimonious. It's very, understand, very important for us to understand and subscribe to these ideas and these thought processes before we go on and talk about the sustainable development goals in terms of policies in terms of programs. The second thing what I was saying was that, that in terms of the power of one, so, you know, it is always said that one is the mother of thousand. And like Mahatma Gandhi said, that be the change that you wish to see. So you have to start the change yourself. <music>